Hi everyone, my name is Richard Wolf. Welcome back to Scraps to Superhero. Uh, this is where I try to build my own version of Jarvis and the Iron Man suit from the Iron Man films in the MCU. Since that last video, I have been condensing down all the notes that I made after watching the uh, five, five films I chose, you know, the Iron Man trilogy and uh, the first two Avengers films. And it took me a little bit longer than I expected, mainly because my notes were all over the place. But I do have a list of things that I want to include in C2, my version of Jarvis, and uh, the suit. And so let's just get into it. So, uh, so C2, my version of Jarvis. Uh, first off, stands for Silicon Intelligence Totally Unique, which I didn't explain in the last film uh, video. Anyway, uh, what I realised uh, while doing my note is that C2 is an interface, essentially. Uh, I know that in Age of Ultron, uh, Tony does say this. It started out, Jarvis was just a natural language UI. Now it runs the Iron Legion. He runs more of the business than anyone besides Pepper. Mm -hmm. Top of the line. But it, it, it was one thing to, to see the character say it, and then something else entirely for me to actually realize it myself, but it did help me get a better grip of what I want to see to be able to do in the future going forward. But anyway, um, there should be something on screen now showing what the general idea of it, of C2, but there's like four general sections to her um, it's at the moment. Uh, first off is the user side of things, uh, the GUI, any text-to-speech, speech-to-text kind of things, you know, uh, take in and give out information to and from the user. The second thing is kind of the important bit, it's the, like, the interface layer. Um, by the way, I'm looking at notes with none doing this. Uh, the interface layer is kind of the main layer of a section. It basically processes information from uh, any program C2 runs or is interfaced with uh, to output to the user as well as processing any user input uh, such as you know, whatever I say, uh, type in, whatever. At the moment, uh, below that, there's basically like a couple of different sections that I want to work on. First off, um, the suit, interfacing with the suit, uh, working with the suit, transferring to, for, to and from it, uh, generally just working, making the suit, any suit parts work. Um, so, uh, the second after next to that is the computer layer, computer section, basically working, doing general computer stuff, uh, when doing music, uh, sort of decryption programs I write, basically decryption in quotation marks. Uh, and the second, next section is like working with the internet, you know, looking for information, looking for information, we're looking for information, uh, checking and sending emails, working with social media, I want to also plug in like uh, uh, working with YouTube uh, and um, other Google product products that I use. But generally, uh, generally, whenever I want to be able to, if I ever write a program or something to help me do my work, I want to be able to plug it into C2 and um, have her interface with it for me. Uh, next up, the suit. Right, uh, I'm going to be up, up front here. Uh, the suit is a section that I um, feel the most awkward doing, but I've com I'm, to, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm doing it, so I need to commit to actually doing it. Right, a lot of a lot of stuff we see in the films, uh, I can't do in real life mainly because um, the tech doesn't exist, the physics doesn't ex don't exist, um, or I just don't have the resources to actually make it. Uh, in terms of making it. Um, screen accurate, screen accurate in terms of what the suit can actually do. Uh, there are plenty of cosplayers and other makers that can make cosplay accurate suits in terms of the way it looks, but I'm focusing on what the suit can do. So, uh, same goal, different path to it. Anyway, uh, in terms of my suit, uh, right, I kind of get like a helmet with, with, with a retractable faceplate and a head up display of some kind on the side. Some form of enhanced strength. I mean, I've seen creators on TikTok make like limited exosuits systems to help them increase their strength. Um, some basic protection. I know there's like bulletproof and stab proof vests you can buy. Which I'm, God, if I had the cash, I'd probably get one and shove that into whatever suit I make. Um, a power source. Um, I don't know why I don't have to lose the words, it's wonder me. Uh, a computer of some kind, like a Raspberry Pi. To work with any sensors as well as have C2 on it, uh, some basic sensors, as well as um, like a 
closest I can get to that, the repulsors, is like being able to have a hole to blow air out of. I would love to have some crazy idea to make it some limited flight, but uh, I don't. So I'm going to have to be settled with like limited air blowing or bursts of air. But yeah, that is, that's kind of it. I mean, I know a lot of this is going to be like pipe dreams or chasing the unrealistic or the unobtainable. But, um, because I just want to, see, the main thing aim is I want to see what I can actually do with it in terms of making some of this a reality. I'm, like I said, I'm trying to focus on the stuff I can actually, the stuff I can actually do and then build on that after, after, the, after I've gotten to like a decent level. But, uh, this is kind of like a, going to be like an ongoing project and I'll be providing updates when I have stuff to report. If you want to see where this uh, project goes, please hit subscribe and I'll throw other videos on screen that you can check out for, for my other work. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.